If your child needed emergency first aid, would you know what to do? So we were rushing to hospital and he actually stopped breathing in the car. I was in tears, but a police car came and actually performed CPR on my son. I, oh, honestly, I binged him up. If they stop breathing or choking, could you help them? Sorry. 22% of parents do not have any baby and child first aid knowledge. Only 31% of parents would feel confident helping a baby or child who needed first aid. But one in five of us have had to give emergency first aid, and 38% were so scared doing it, they thought their child was going to die. Becoming a parent is the single biggest trigger for wanting to improve first aid knowledge, with 56% of you wanting to know more. So Channel Mum and St John Ambulance are here to help. Spending just one minute a day can help you learn how to keep your child safe. See how many of these essential first aid tips you can learn in 60 seconds and then take our first aid course so you're confident you would know what to do in an emergency. Always cut food lengthways and not across. Keep handbags out of reach. Kids commonly choke on pen lids and coins. If your child is choking, never poke around in their mouth as this could push the blockage further down. Never leave a small child unattended. Any burn bigger than your child's palm needs medical attention. Put burns into cold water for at least 10 minutes. Cover in cling film and keep sterile before getting help. Remove loose clothing, but if clothes stick, leave until help arrives. Have a supply of antihistamines in your home first aid kit. Weaning, be aware that allergies can show up this early. If your child has an allergic reaction, keep them calm until you can get help. Rash, treat it yourself with antihistamines. Swollen lips or tongue, get to hospital. Under six months, 38 degrees Celsius is a fever. Over six months, it's 39 degrees Celsius. Never treat children with aspirin, check the medicine. Child not getting better after 72 hours, get medical help. Remember, A, B, C, airways, breathing, circulation. Start with five rescue breaths. Then 30 compressions and two rescue breaths and repeat until help arrives or the child breathes. Use Nelly the Elephant as your timing guide. That's at least 120 compressions a minute. Also called febrile convulsions, most are caused by a fast rising temperature. If your child has one, place them gently on the floor and clear the space around them. If the seizure lasts more than two minutes, get medical help. If your child has one without a temperature, get medical help. Don't wait for a rash. Learn the other signs. Meningitis symptoms include joint and limb pain, light sensitivity, blotchy pale skin, flu-like illness, and cold hands and feet. Babies may have a high-pitched cry. Sepsis can happen from any infection. Be aware. Signs include no wet nappy for 12 hours, vomiting, convulsions, feeling cold, not feeding, and hard to wake. We hope this has been really helpful, but who else looks after your child? A friend, a relative, even your partner, they need to see this video as well. Please share this video now to save a life. We also have a whole course of really important life-saving videos to watch and share with the people who look after your child.